It says here in El Nisa, number 34, men are protectors of women because God has made some of them excel others and because they spend their wealth on them. Why'd you stop reading? Oh, that's right. Because if you continue reading the ayah, it gives men the right to beat their disobedient wives. Admonish women who disobey the laws of Allah. Do not sleep with them. Wadribu hunna, which translates and beat them. Ya Allah, Habibi, come to Islam. It's so nice over here. <laughs> Naam, um, ya Habibi, it's so nice when your husband beats you for being a bad wife. And also, and give the women their dowries willingly. But if they of their own accord remit any part of it to you, you may make use of it. You have to pay women their dowry. Pay women, give them their money. <laughs> this is so incredible. It sure is. If you just read the ayah right above that one, it talks about marrying one of the slave girls that you own. And if we continue reading until ayah 11, it'll tell you that a male inherits twice that of a female. Absolutely incredible, right? I have never heard of a religion that upholds women to such an amazing level and encouraging the men to protect them, to provide for them, um, to take care of them. Uh, have you ever read the Bible? Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither slave nor free. There is no male and female, for you are all one in Christ. Likewise, husbands, live with your wives in an understanding way, showing honor to the woman as the weaker vessel, since they are heirs with you of the grace of life, so that your prayers may not be hindered. Islam is at the top for women's rights and giving women a very high status in society. <laughs> Let's see what the Prophet thinks of women. The Prophet said, isn't the witness of a woman equal to have that of a man? The women said yes. He said this is because of the deficiency of a woman's mind. The things which annul prayer were mentioned before me and those were a dog, a donkey and a woman. I said, you have compared us women to donkeys and dogs. O oh, women, give alms as I have seen that the majority of the dwellers of hellfire were you women. They asked, Why is it so, O oh, Allah's Messenger? He replied, You curse frequently and are ungrateful to your husbands. I have not seen anyone more deficient in intelligence and religion than you. Yeah, Muhammad sure had a very high view of women. Women, stay away from Islam. <laughs> 